So this is how I start my day. I wake up. And I wake up depressed as fuck. Because I know today is just the same as yesterday. And I have no control over it. Usually I'll just wait here until my daughter calls me on FaceTime and talk to her while I lay in my bed, just so I can feel a bit better. I am, but she didn't call me yet, so. What I do now is take my pills. Then I brush my teeth. And then I get ready to walk my dog. But before I can do all that, I gotta find the motivation to get out of bed. And that's probably the hardest thing of my day. So I figure I'll vlog about my daily day to day to help me stay mentally strong and get out of bed so this is my daily vlog part one enjoy the ride Good morning, everybody. So, I made the intro a couple days ago. Really didn't do nothing. I did walk to the lake, as you can see in the video. I um, already walked my dog right now. I actually talked to the doctor yesterday. He told me that I have two more weeks to go. I can't, I'm not supposed to drive. I'm not supposed to do anything. I can't even ride the scooter. I can't bend down still. I'm not allowed to do anything. So... After two weeks, he said, you're good to go. Because then the leads, the wires that are in my back, um, they won't move. They won't shift. Or when I bend down, they won't drag the wires from my spine. So, got to just keep a I guess, call for people to give me a ride. But I guess I'm going to use this as an excuse to keep working out. So, right now I have to walk to Walmart, get my medicine. And a birthday card for my friend's daughter's birthday this Saturday. So I'm going to head over there. Found the old Nike Plus watch. So I'm tracking how how far it's going to be. Um, I just got my sweats. Always got my J's on. Got my sweater so I can sweat. Um, good thing is I weighed myself in my last visit with my doctor. The total weight loss was 16 pounds. So, I guess I'll just keep it up, keep walking, and just try to get back to being skinny again. So, I'm just using my camera on my phone right now uh, with the iPhone uh, headset because I'm going to basically just listen to music and just zone out and walk all the way over and get my stuff and come back home. So, enjoy my day. Alright, so I'm at exactly one mile. And I'm not halfway there yet. So, um, gonna keep pushing right now. I can just feel the, like a burning sensation that's actually where my battery is mounted. And, that's supposedly it's normal. That said, it's gonna take like six months for that part to heal because that's where the pocket is that holds the battery in my, in my back. So, but yeah, so show you guys uh show you guys watch so let me flip the camera so we're at one mile so keep pushing and pushing and not give up so this is the path i'm walking just taking a break in the shade it's uh 
my back is actually or where the battery is starting to burn and kind of hurt so just walking a little bit slower now and just keeping a, my posture straight up and I know there's some big old fishes here it is the water is low and I see a whole bunch of school of small fishes but there is some pretty big carp back in the day that I used to see and no one ever really fished for them they just leave them alone so they got really big in here so I'll see if I can catch any but I don't think I'm gonna get any on camera so so I'm about to hit my two mile mark and Walmart's up there but maybe half a mile so we're at two miles now so almost there so coming up to Walmart parking lot finally I'm at 2.59 miles so mile and a half but Walmart's over there just gotta hit this turn and get something to drink so I can fill my sugars getting low so this is where we're at 2.61 now so almost in the parking lot so I made it to Walmart drinking a coke so I can get my sugar level back up grab my birthday card and medicine and then head back home and see what the total miles is so take a break and i'll see you guys inside all right so i'm done from head walmart i got medicine card i bought this bag and it's called a preschool learning book for my daughter so i'll mail that to her so she can practice her letters and numbers and just walking in the store i'm at 4.3 now so four miles and still have to walk back home so got a flavored water to drink for now and then i'll head back to the house so my battery is low so i'm gonna try to save the battery to get to the house so um i'll show you the total miles of today's walking around adventure so see you guys when i get home so I'm back home. Um, I took off my clothes. I'm freaking hot. I was sweating. Um, I already made the outro, but the video audio was like trash. So uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I know the new iPhone 12 has came out, and usually iPhones they always uh, mess up when a new phone comes out, and it forces you to buy one. I'm actually using an iPhone 8 Plus. I love my iPhone 8 Plus. It's just Things here are messing up, and I know it's because they want me to buy another phone, but I'm not trying to pay no $1,500 for iPro Max, you know, 12 Pro Max. You know, it's not, nah. That 1500 can buy a damn car and I can flip it. So, using this phone, it gets me what I need to do when I FaceTime my daughter and talk to my lawyer. So, but yeah, I'm home. Um, just uh, chopping up some meat, cooking on the small little grill. Um, grilled some jalapenos so I can have something spicy to eat. I'm going to make a cup of coffee and just kick it in the house now and get it done. So, uh, miles on the watch, it actually GPS went out. Well, I guess when I was walking inside the store at Walmart, I'm charging it and it looks like I'm full charge. So, let's go back on history. I don't know what's up with the audio. Something happened and I had to just delete the video and make another outro like I'm doing now so I'll go down to history so the walking home was a total of two miles plus the four and a half or four and almost a half of going there and walking inside the store so I'm just roughly six miles almost almost six and a half so did that feel better um, Walking's been helping a lot, and I know the doctor probably doesn't want me to push it like I've been, but like I said, I did take a bunch of breaks when I was walking, I just didn't put it on video, so I did a lot of stopping, and there's a bunch of spots where the bus picks up people, 
I just kicked it at the bus stop and sat there for like literally 30 minutes. So I've been gone for like, damn, like four or five hours. So, you know, I'm not walking straight because, yeah, that's not going to happen. So for the spinal cord stimulator, my, the pocket hurts. Um, the wires, the surgery is fine, but where the pocket is, it burns. And that's when I know that, hey, you need to stop, slow down. And even though I'm, I'm trying so hard to lose all this weight and I guess to say find myself again, but, um, you know, that's just what it is for it is right now. And, but yeah, so I don't know what to say. I just got to keep going at it. You know, I just want to make these videos and document my, my stress of everything going on and how losing a great job because of this accident and having to just start over and redo it all over again. It's something I don't want to do, but it's something I have to do because I have no choice. So, and it sucks that I have a daughter where I financially can't support her like I would. And I can't spoil the shit out of her. So it sucks being a, you know, I'm a first time father. So my first child, of course, I want to give the world to. And just grind, grind, grind so she can see that daddy's a hard worker. So I am bummed out I lost my job. And that really affects me because financially, I love being financially secure. Who doesn't? So, and I'm not lazy. I love to work for mine because that's how we were. We were I was not born rich. Uh, mom and dad... My dad was a janitor, my mom was a janitor, my dad ended up moving from janitor at an at a elementary school to working warehouse, which got me a job because I went to Delta College, dropped out because financially I couldn't do it. My mom and dad financially couldn't put me through school, so I dropped out, started working at the warehouse with my dad, and been working with the company for over 20 years. So then that went into trucking, trucking into you know, yard driving, and then left and went to working part-time other jobs, driving, constantly driving, 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 driving. So, I mean, it's something I enjoyed and something I love and got really good at. So, but, you know, that's the story of a, just a hard worker and labor worker. So, but thanks for watching, guys. I'm about to just cook this food because I haven't eaten today. It's already 2.35. So I need to uh, get something in my body, and then after that, I'm just going to wait till later tonight, throw in another two miles of uh, walking the dog. I know I'm going to feel it tomorrow morning, so this is my first time actually pushing it. So I want to see where I'm at tomorrow, because I know it's I'm going to be in pain, but like I said, i got to get back. I can't, you know, let everything, everything's been hitting me so hard, and I can't. I can't stay like this no more. I have to stay focused. I can't feel weak and want to do something stupid to myself because, you know, I have a daughter. I got to be strong for her and I can't leave her behind. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in, you know, vlog part two and I'll just keep, keep you guys updated and, and maybe I'll uh, make a video and just vlog over at the birthday party so you guys can see the crew. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys next one, or next video, so I'm tired, all right, peace out everyone, like, comment, subscribe, and hook your boy up, man, a lot of you guys have been watching the videos, and nobody's liking, so, I mean, I see all these views, but no, like, one, one like, and they got one homie that likes it all the time, and everyone else will watch it, and don't like it, and come on, support your boy, so, all right guys, peace.